Another season of high school football is here with football Friday night in central Ohio. It was a powerful and emotional night at one game in particular. Yep, we want to take you to Canal Winchester where they designated it B Rock Night in honor of Brock B Rock Johnson, who recently died from a rare autoimmune disease. Students from both Canal Winchester and Groveport Madison were decked out in green, B Rock's favorite color, or they wore Brock Strong t shirts. A wonderful sight to see two rivals coming together to honor one of the best little sports fans who ever lived. Now, earlier on Friday, I spoke to some of those involved in B Rock Night to find out how this incredible evening came to be. He's been gone for more than three months now. It's been hard. Um, he was such a driving force in our life. You know, Brock would tell me, these are the cards you've been dealt, and you just have to make the best of it. Yet the legacy of Brock B. Rock Johnson lives on. And as a new season of high school football begins, there is a different type of feeling throughout Canal Winchester. Just to see the effect that a, you know, a little 14-year-old kid has made on a community and made on to, to grown men, you know, it's just takes your breath away. B Rock absolutely loved game night. For years, he was on the Indian sidelines as an honorary coach and passionate supporter. For him to not be here is certainly going to be bittersweet. No one knows that more than head coach Phil Morrow, who for the very first time will walk the sidelines without B Rock. He was in his glory. I mean, he loved it. He was just so athletically smart. And as a first grader, I can remember just how much he knew about football and all sports. And uh, yeah, he was, uh, yeah, he was, he was the best. There are constant reminders of who B Rock was and everything he stood for. Yeah, it'll be tough. He'll be with us. He just won't be uh, right next to us, but uh, he'll definitely be with us, and he's always with us every day in our hearts. He would have been a freshman at Canal Winchester this year. <laughs> and throughout the school, B Rock t shirts are everywhere. He told us all, um, you know, every day is a gift. It's not that you have to, that you get to. Take a look at the team's helmets this year. They now say Brock Strong. He even has his own locker. But what's most impressive, this brand new 7,000 pound rock that sits just outside the team's locker room. The players will pass by it every home game. Well, they'll come out and as, as we come down and go through the back way, they'll all tap the rock for, for their inspiration. And what a true inspiration he really was. And my mom always told me things that influence your life most are the books you read and the people you meet. And uh, that's certainly true because I don't know if anybody's influenced my life as much as him. Last year, B Rock's older brother Tucker organized B Rock Night right before his bone marrow transplant. He did the same thing this time around. Yeah, it's just different. Like last year, it was like, you know, we're going to fight for this big battle that's coming up against us. And now it's just like in memory of him. And it's just weird. Like last year, I never in a million years would have thought that I was going to play on the same night, but just for a totally different reason. Such a strong and meaningful night. Pretty impressive that Groveport jumped on board as well. Their student council president reached out to us. So um, you're right. How awesome is that, that they contacted us, not the other way around, and wanted to be a part of what we were doing and show their support for this young man, so I couldn't be more proud. Just another sign of all the lives this little guy touched in such a short amount of time. And he's just, uh, just an amazing, amazing guy, and, uh, you know, he was truly a gift uh, to us, and, uh, and he'll always be a part of us. We would give absolutely anything to be able to be out there watching our son play. Um, we don't get that opportunity now, so, I mean, I think that truly makes, you know, the one saying that he had you know, really come to life for us. Which was, every day's a gift, you just have to make the best of it. And no one said that quite like him. Every day's a gift, so make the best of it. You know, I had no idea that when I interviewed him at that moment, and he said that, how strong that quote would become. It's everywhere now throughout Canal Winchester, and the most important thing we can do is live that quote, make the most out of every single day. And I'm just so proud to be friends with that family and that Canal Winchester community. Now they have the Brock Strong Foundation, so they're going to do so much for Canal Winchester, for the school district, for Children's Hospital. In fact, they've organized a a travel ball tournament for Labor Day weekend next weekend. And my son's team, Ohio Elite, is going to be play? in it. Okay. Oh, it's going to be so meaningful. Yeah. yeah, now Ohio Elite better just win. Right. Well, it's <laughs> great to see that B Rock's memory, legacy, oh. all this motivation, it's all living on. And so it's important. Great to see. Yes, so strong. Yeah. The impact he had on so many.